Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We can see that we have designed the hero section, the testimonial section and also the our courses section. Now in this video, we will design the get our app section and also this footer. So let's get started. Right now the first thing we need to have is this heading over here. So let's go back to our Figma file. And we have already created a component for the heading. So let's go to assets. And here inside components we have this heading. So I'll just drag this over here. And let's change the text to get our app. And let's increase the width of this heading. Now let's bring it to the center. So I'll just click on this button called align horizontal centers. And we also need to center align this text. So I'll just double click over here and I'll just click on this button called text align center. Now we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section. So I'll just bring this up a little bit. Now the next thing we need to have is this text over here. So if we scroll up, we can see that this is the same styling of this text. So I'll just double click over here and I'll just copy this. I'll just press Ctrl C and uh, let's scroll down and here I'll just paste the element and let's bring it to the center and let's increase the width. Right now let's change the text so we need to type you can use our app for better experience on your smartphones. Alright so this is the text I'll just center align this over here and also center align the text and let's bring this up and uh, I think this looks all right. Now the next thing we need to do is get these icons and add this text. So I have already downloaded the icons and uh, here we can see we have these two icons over here. So I'll just select both of these and let's press Ctrl C and let's scroll down. And here we'll just paste the icons. So I'll just press Ctrl V. All right now we need to have this background for these icons. So let's create a rectangle. And uh, let's bring this rectangle to the bottom of the icon. So I just press Ctrl and left square brackets. And let's increase the width of this rectangle. And in here we will add a text. So I'll just click on text. And here we need to type App Store. So I'll just type App Store. Now for this text we will have a font size of 24 pixels. And we'll change the color of this text to white. So I'll just select white color from here. And let's select the background rectangle and let's change the color to black. And I think that looks all right. Let's decrease the width a little bit. All right, now let's select all of this and let's make it an auto layout. So I'll just right click over here and click on add auto layout. Now the next thing we will do is we will have a fixed width for this frame. So I'll just increase the width over here. And now let's go ahead and duplicate this. So I'll just press alt and drag this over here. Now for the second one, we need to have this icon. So I'll just drag this over here and I'll just delete this icon. And let's change the text to Google Play. All right, that's it with the icons. Let's bring this a little closer to each other. And now let's select both of this and let's bring it to the center. And I think that looks all right. All right, now let's select all of this and let's make it a group. So I'll just right click over here and click on group selection. And let's change the name to app section. Right now the last thing we need to do is create the footer. So here we can see we have this footer. So for that let's create a rectangle. So let's go back and let's click on this rectangle. And let's create a rectangle over here. Let's set the width to 100% of the frame. And we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section. So I'll just bring this up a little bit. Right now the next thing we will do is we will change the background color of this footer. So let's scroll up and here we can see we have this dark color over here. So let's select that color. So I'll just click on this color and let's select this color right here. Alright now let's go ahead and add this heading. So let's click on text and let's type quick links. And uh, let's set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll set the color of the text to this color right here and we will also set the font style to bold 
right now let's enable the layout grid so for that let's select this frame so I'll just press ctrl and click over here and I'll just click on this button to unhide the layout grid right now let's position this heading over here to the left and for the top we will have a spacing of 70 pixels so let's bring it up and uh, that's it with the heading now let's go ahead and add these links over here so I'll just duplicate this and bring it to the right a little bit and let's change the font style to regular and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll set the color of uh, the text to white or now for the first link we have about us so I'll just type about us over here and I'll just set the text align to left or now let's duplicate this and bring it down and then we have these links over here so I'll just quickly add all of these links and I think this looks alright so let's select all of this text and let's group it here I'll just type footer links or right, now let's duplicate this and bring it to the right so we have two more sections so I'll just bring it over here and uh, I'll just duplicate this and bring it over here once more and then for the next one we have course so I'll just tap course and we also need to align this to the left All right let's type course and in here we have login download and all courses and we don't need to have this last link over here so I'll just delete this and then for the next one we have contact us so I'll just double click over here and align this to the left and uh, let's type contact us and here we need to have the email ID so I'll just type contact at email.com and then we need to have these icons of Facebook and Instagram and then we need to have this email subscription box so let's delete all of this and I'll just copy this and bring it down here and here we need to type the credits so I'll just type it over here and let's bring this to the left All right now let's add these two icons so let's right click over here and go to plugins and select iconify and let's select Facebook and we need to have this round icon so I'll just drag this over here and then we need to have the icon of Instagram so here just type Instagram and uh, let's drag this icon over here right now let's bring these two icons inside the footer and let's change the color of these icons so let's select both of this and uh, let's change the color to white and let's select and bring these icons to the top and uh, let's bring this over here let's set the same height to both these icons so I'll just set the height to 24 pixels let's also select this and let's set the height of this icon to 24 pixels as well so let's select constraint proportions and let's type 24 over here right now let's delete this and let's create this email subscription box so for that let's create a rectangle so I'll just click on rectangle and create a rectangle over here and let's increase the width and let's change the fill color to white and I'll just set the corner radius to 8 and uh, let's add a text inside here so let's click on text and here we'll just type email address and I'll just reduce the opacity of this text so here I'll just type 50% and now let's create this button so for that let's create one more rectangle and let's decrease the height and for this we will have a background color of this dark color and let's bring this to the top and let's set a corner radius of 8 pixels right now for the text we need to type subscribe so I'll just duplicate this and bring this over here and let's type subscribe and uh, let's bring this to the top so I'll just drag this over here and uh, let's change the color of the text to white and let's set the opacity back to 100 and I think we need to increase the width a little bit 
right now let's remove this layout grid and let's see how it looks and I think we have a lot of space between these elements so I'll just bring this over here to the left and we will have a space of 132 pixels and I'll also bring this to the left and we need to have these elements in the group as well so let's ungroup this so I'll just click on ungroup and uh, let's select all of this and let's group this and let's bring this to the left and now we can increase the width of this email subscription box so let's select this rectangle and uh, let's increase the width a little bit and uh, let's select this button and uh, let's bring this to the right and I think that's it with the footer so let's decrease the BG rectangle and we will have a space of 70 pixels right now let's select all of this and uh, let's group it I think we have an extra element over here I'll just delete this right now let's select all of this and uh, let's right click over here and click on group selection and I'll just name this footer so that's it with the footer of our website now let's decrease the height of this frame so I'll just press ctrl and click over here and uh, let's decrease the height and here we can see the icons are moving up so let's double click over here and select this icon and for the constraints we need to select top and left and do the same for this as well right now let's decrease the height of this frame so here we have our design for the desktop and everything looks all right we don't have any problems so that's it for this video we have completed the design of the desktop version now from the next video we will start designing the tablet version so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day